Well, howdy there, partner. I got one question for you. You like ranching? Well, you just came to the right place for it. What's up, guys? Welcome to a brand new series here on the channel. We're going to jump into some ranch simulator. Um, I've been watching this game progress for quite a while. I saw some gameplay of this when it first came out, and it was definitely pretty rough. But um, they made some huge improvements. They actually re-completely updated the uh, game engine as well. So now it's on uh, Unreal 5, I believe, is what it's uh, currently on. And it just looks absolutely insane. So I figured we got a couple series ending up here, and we got maybe a couple more episodes only on also a few of them. So um, it's a great time to add on a new game here. And um, also, if you guys um, be gracious and you enjoy the videos and enjoy the content I've been putting out, make sure to hit that like and subscribe, and also the notification bell. Um, because we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers, we are at a, um, a cool like 2:30ish, uh, but at the time of recording this, so that is absolutely amazing. But our goal is for the end of the year 300, and um, like I said, we're on on the road to 1,000. So let's uh, get right into it here. We got uh, name your save file. Let's go. Um, uh, okay, doesn't really matter. All right, we just got Austin's farm. Screw it. <laughs> well, let's go with that. I also really hope that, um, I didn't realize this game was going to be so taxing on my computer. I see um, I'm rocking like 60-ish frames only, so we'll see how, how good this plays. I don't know. I'm definitely hoping we're going to be able to play it and have it smooth for you guys, uh, so it's not all stuttering and crappy, but, uh, skip tutorial, I've skipped, the old house will be removed, the UTV will be in the garage, a small chicken coop with two chickens and egg basket will be placed on the ranch. You will also receive the axe, blueprint book, cheap saw, and crowbar. You also receive the pistol, some ammo, and $1,100. I don't think I like, really want to skip it. I have not played this at all yet. Uh, like I said, I've just seen some gameplay of this. So, um, oh boy. Yeah, we are... Let me... Okay, so I just uh, lowered my settings a little bit. Unfortunately, the game definitely does not look as good, uh, sadly. I know that's something I really want to do um, sometime early next year, is getting a new computer set up as well, because I think I, I've mentioned this in a couple of videos I've re actually recorded on a gaming laptop. It does pretty good. I'm usually able to play like even Call of Duty and stuff like that at like max settings and still rock some pretty decent frames. So I don't know if this game just isn't very optimized or what, but this is like the first game I actually haven't been able to play at like uh, pretty high settings at uh, 1440. But um, okay, so we got uh, different movements around. Obviously, w WSD, we got um, shift for sprint, C for crouch, we got jump is space bar, and we got uh, V for we can change. Okay. Just enter to continue. Okay. Looks like, um, I don't know if this is our ranch or if this is just like part of the tutorial. But uh, look at this guy. He's just like frolicking around. Like, who jumps like this? I love it though. That is awesome. All right. Follow the blue icon and read the letter. Um, is it? Okay. It's going to be inside here. Probably should have figured that. But uh, like I said, I'm definitely excited to check this game out. It's. Been uh, something on my list to be um, playing for you guys, and I think we're getting to that right uh, point where uh, we need some more for the channel here as well. So, we got uh, Hello Grandchild. If you read this letter, then you agree to pull to. I can't. It's really hard to read this with. Fulfill my last will and come to our family ranch. It is in absolute. It is in a absolute. I can't really read what that says because I did not have. The time and opportunity to deal with it. Come into the house. I left a few things in the attic that will help you. I believe in you, your loving grandfather. Oh, so our grandfather left us. I believe this is going to be, again, I believe this is going to be ours. But, um, okay, we got uh, J for a quest log here. Inspect the house. Turn on the radio on, on the wall. Find the tent. Okay. Let's go frolicking around more. So, we got, um, find the tent. Okay, so I'm guessing that... We're going to want to save is what it's trying to have us do. So here you can sleep until morning and save your progress anytime. Okay, so that is completed now. I actually, um, okay, so here is our, I'm guessing this is going to be our house. Or, like I said, I don't know if this is all going to go away with the, with the uh, tutorial end or if this is just part of the tutorial. Or if this is actually part of the game. I'm not really uh, sure of that. But, um, can we, um... Can we not get through here? Or uh, what's... Or do we just... Okay, we just need to go through here. Okay. Yeah, this place... Yeah, this is an absolute mess. I just was not even paying attention to how bad of state this house is. Like, 
how uh how could you live like this my god i'm not like a very like snobby person but geez i like having nice things and like a nice place to live and everything here i i could not live in this okay find grandfather's chest in the attic remove the obstacle find the chest upstairs so i'm guessing kind of where we just were going um before here so we got oh we got i'm guessing this is gonna be our obstacle so demolish to destroy slash remove items select the demolish mode in the uh, circle menu hold tab okay that's simple enough yep kind of like kind of like most simulators here okay so i probably could have uh, demolished those planks that we were trying to get in by the door as well and then we've got yep our attic up here we can crouch if we need to uh i'm gonna go this way actually this game, I mean, I guess, honestly, this doesn't look terrible. It's definitely not, it's definitely far from great where we're at. Um, ooh, we got a gun here. We got some ammo. We got a little bit of cash. And we've got a letter here, even better. Take this revolver in the forest. There are many wild animals that can cause you trouble. I have left some money and ammo. One more thing, you will need a car. In the garage at the entrance to the ranch, there is an old UTV. I think I saw that sitting back there. You will need to use spare parts you find here to fix it up. Good luck. Well, thank you then, Grandpa. Um, I guess, uh, okay, so now we need to um, take the car parts to the body. That sounds good, to the body. <laughs> but uh, I know it means uh, car body. Just does not sound good in that context. Can I, or is it already removed now? No, they're still here. Okay, let me, I want to destroy these quick. Oh, so we can actually destroy, like, all of this. Ooh, that, that's got to be fun. I don't remember exactly how, like, detailed you could get with all this. Um, the last time I've seen this. Can I just go right out here? Okay, yeah, we can. Ooh, wow, these, these parts are scattered everywhere. But, um, yeah, I think we're going to end up having to redo all that because that place is an absolute mess. And I am not looking forward to uh, trying to live there. So I really want to uh, try to do something with that. Okay, click to pick up. We've got, um, oh, it's back here. Yeah, I ran right past it sitting inside this garage here. Oh, look at this. Okay, maybe I didn't see this in before. Um, do we have, yeah, we got some other stuff in here. Let's uh, pick this up. It's really weird sometimes, like, picking these up, it's clicking, but then, like, putting them out, putting them on the actual side-by-side -side or UTV, it's uh, E, like, you would normally find it or normally believe it would be. So it gets, gets a little confusing sometimes. But um, anyways, we got uh, one more wheel. We got a couple of seats. We got the bumper guard. Here's the other wheel. And uh, the fuel tank we got to put on. But yeah, let me know in the comments which, what you guys uh, think of this game. I'm probably going to be uploading this, I'm guessing, oop, again, I keep doing that. Um, but I'll probably be up uploading this tomorrow, which would be on Wednesday. I'm recording this on Tuesday night here right now. And... Um, Oh, there's a grill. It's a little hard to see. But yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys think. I'll probably post a couple episodes of this, and uh, we'll see how things go with it. I know this game gets pretty detailed and in-depth, so I'm definitely uh, looking forward to checking as much out as possible with this and doing a decent playthrough of it. Is it out here? No, it's inside. Okay. But yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys think. I really uh, value your feedback, and um, obviously I want to make content that you guys want to watch as well and not just... Um, not just making stuff, just, I mean, that, that is one of the things, like, I really do enjoy playing games, and that's where, like, I want to also be able to just make content that I enjoy playing, but I also, like I said, I want to have, I want to make stuff that you guys want to enjoy watching, too, so it's not just, uh, not just me sitting there playing, basically, and talking to myself, <laughs> so, um, okay, oh, this is all the way over here, dang it, I wish I would have noticed, noticed this when we came out of the house, uh, it's right over, I think, is this it? Yep, that's it, okay. No, well, not that far. I know, I mean, this, I don't know. Yeah, I can't. Okay, so the map doesn't look that big on here, but it is big. And there's a lot, of, like, uh, in the in the note also that was saying, there's a lot of wildlife in this, from what I've heard. So it definitely can get a little interesting. <laughs> but, um, okay. So we got to uh, place a jerry can inside uh, in the UTV cargo bed. So, all right, pick up the item. Hold right click to start placement. Press left click to confirm the placement. Scroll is to uh, rotate. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Easy enough. Okay. 
So I'm guessing, yep, we're going to go to the gas station here. Oh, we got actually started up. F for ignition. L for lights. We got space bar for handbrake. Oh, we got C for the hitch. So we can actually mess with that too. Dude, this game looks so good, even though I know I've got my settings turned down now. I, that really disappoints me. Like I said, I really want to... Um, that is going to be one of my first big purchase, um, is getting a building a new, new desktop. Because I know I can improve the quality of videos so much for you guys, and I'm sorry about the quality of the video that they already are at. Um, but uh, I definitely want to start recording stuff in 4K for you guys, too. I know a lot of people like prefer and prefer to watch videos when they're in 4K. That's where I tried to bump it up as high as I could with 1440. And um, but like I said, I want to try to make as best quality videos for you guys as I can. And obviously that includes playing the games that good re or a good uh, FPS and um, good resolution. Um, okay, so we're, I think we got to place this down here. Press E to start refueling. Do I need to actually be holding this? Remove the fuel. Oh, okay, I see. So we got actually kind of like um, kind of like a gas station or pumping simulator. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, see, it's really weird. So I had to click with, I had to left click and then use E to actually put it in there. Um. Ah, oh, we got it. Okay. Ah, there we go. That makes more sense now. How much do we have there? About. Almost halfway. Yeah, so this... I don't see where our money is. Also. Okay, I think... I want to see... Okay, so it will stop. So we literally just filled up perfectly there. So that will stop when it is actually full like it should. Okay. So I'm guessing we're going to put this back in the truck. Or back in the side-by-side. -side. Oh, we got to fill up the car now. With the UTV. Alright, where does this... Ah, uh, wait. No. Okay, right over here. Sorry. No! <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm a little bit of a noob at this. Like I said, I have not played this before, and I've only seen a little bit of gameplay of this. So, oh, there we go. I just didn't have it in the right spot. One thing one thing that I have... Okay, so we can actually see now on this side where it's at. But one thing I have seen, that little tip on this, is you can actually put the jerry can. You can actually attach it to the uh, like side-by-side -side or whatever you're, whatever you're fueling up and actually just leave it there. So to actually act um, is like a, so like, see, we can do this and we can actually, um, so we can actually just leave that there and it'll act as, a, as like a secondary tank for us. So we got to talk with the real estate agent, uh, which is going to be, I guess, back down by the ranch, I think. I kind of hope that this isn't just a tutorial and we actually are making progress in our own ranch. So otherwise that would kind of suck. I'd probably would just skip ahead uh, to like this point. Or wherever we finish off the tutorial for you guys, that way you're not watching the same, same thing in the in the uh, next episode. But uh, yeah, let's see here. Okay, so we got like a little bank here type of thing. It's pretty cool, like all the stuff they have. Hello, estate agent. Yes, it's me. Good day. Are you by chance any? Are you? Are you by any chance the new owner, new owner of one of the nearby ranches? Yes, it's me. In that case, I must give you the construction manual. This book will help you re to rebuild your ranch. Keep in mind that construction is only performed on your ranch territory. That makes sense. All right, it's our property. We can't build on others. <laughs> but uh, all right. Well, that's all I wanted to tell you. Good luck with your ranch. Okay. Well, that was, I mean, helpful, but not. <laughs> um, using radio menu, you can now enter build mode and build on your ranch. The following building materials are required for construction. Wooden planks, bags of cement, and metal rebars. Wood planks can be made by yourself, and the rest of the building materials can be bought at the hardware store. Okay. Seems simple enough. So we got to go talk with... Um, oh, see, look at that. We got a... Is that a deer or a moose? I'm not... I'm good with wildlife, but I'm not that good. Um... Yeah, see, we have like a, it looks like some sort of like repeater rifle there, but um, we can, we could try to get this guy. Actually, I need to reload, but uh, I'm going to leave him be for now. Let him pass. You guys know where that's from. Absolute legends. All right, let's um, go talk with the uh, car salesperson. Yeah. Okay. Wait, is that, it is right here. Dang it. I didn't even notice that. I was too distracted by the, Deer or moose, whatever that was. 
Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, it was right inside here like this. I know this is something we are going to want to uh, get an actual pickup truck here at some point soon enough to uh, buy, radio, buy radio for the UTV. Get in the car and drive in the garage, radio installed. Welcome, here you can buy a car or customize it for all of our new customers. We install radio players in, in their four-wheelers for only $10. Wow, that's dirt cheap. <laughs> Just drive into the garage behind the building and install the radio. If you want to buy a vehicle, use the computer in front of me. Okay, how do I buy a car? What's the difference between cars? Goodbye. All cars different technical technical characteristics as well as capacity. See the computer for more details. Okay. You're not a very good salesman. <laughs> but um so we got another UTV that we could buy. Ooh, we got um can I rotate my view? Doesn't look like it. So for sixteen hundred dollars, which it actually tells you how much we can hold of each as well, which Okay, so we got an ATV, we've got another pickup truck. Ooh, we got like a the box truck here. That's pretty sweet. We got a little sedan, which that's kind of useless. Same with tractor. That, that'd be kind of... Ooh, we got a harvester here, too. I played a little bit of farming sim. That's been a pretty fun game, too. So let me know uh, if you guys want me to play that as well here on the channel. I know there... I think there's another one coming out next year sometime. So that'd be maybe something to check out on the channel. Or otherwise, I do have 22. And uh, like I said, that was a pretty fun game. I know I'm not very, not very good at it, but I definitely enjoy playing it. And... It usually just ends up being like a uh, mowing simulator for me with um, some of the tasks I do there. It's just all just all mowing and uh, I guess I guess some farming stuff, though. But uh, it's definitely fun. So we got upgrade. Oh, we got... Ah, there we go. So that's all we can do is upgrade the radio. So we can sell it here, which... Do we have, like, a value? I guess it would probably tell us if we clicked on that, but I don't even want to risk it. Oh. Nope. And see, we had to go straight there. Okay, so follow the road, hard reach the hardware store. Um, where where am I following the road to? Okay, so there's the hardware store. So we got to go backwards, I guess. So we got to go back over here. Oh, look at that, we got like an RV type of thing. Pretty neat. Ah! <laughs> Drifting it down the hill and crashing. <laughs> All right, let's um, head on over to the hardware store. Yes, um, I see there's like the little pad back there. I think that's like the loading area. So I don't know. Ah, this is not very easy to handle. Oh, <laughs> just smashed it in the bowl. That's all right. Okay, yeah, this thing is not very easy to handle. I guess I'm just I'm just going crazy with this though. So I see a sign here. This says I just did like a 270 there. <laughs> We got a cell area here, so I guess we really didn't need to come over here. Um, okay, so shop terminals. All stores have terminals through which you can make a purchase. Go to the terminal and press the action button to start. Okay, so do we need to purchase anything right now? Or we got a bunch of stuff here, though. Like, so we got uh, wood planks, we got metal plates, glass, concrete, cheap table saw. I think that might be something we want because we're going to want to, and also an axe. I don't think we have an axe at all. Um, all stores have terminals. Okay. So, oh yeah, there we go. So buy items, axe, crowbar, and cheap table saw, which is literally what I was actually looking at doing. Besides the crowbar, I thought we already had one with the demolish, but I guess that doesn't count. So we're going to do that. There's also trailers in here. That's pretty sweet. A car trailer. We got an animal trailer, fuel trailer, drivable lawnmower. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got we got a stunner. I think that's going to be for some of the like livestock type of thing. I'm not a big fan of harming animals. I'm a big animal lover. Not like super crazy like crazy about it, but like I just I'm not not a big fan of like seeing it happen. <laughs> but um, so this will be interesting with this. So um, uh, let's see here. So I guess two forty five for these. We have six seventy four. So I'm going to can see like our actual money's there. What we have. But, um, okay, so we got to pick all these items up and put them in the truck, I'm guessing. Or I keep saying truck, but it's a side-by-side -side or UTV, whatever you want to call it. So we've got the uh, table saw. Let's pick up. Okay, so that's just E. Do that, and I'm guessing, yep, that'll be the same. So now those are actually... See, I don't know why we had to purchase that, because I'm pretty sure that's the same thing. But maybe not. I don't know. All right, uh, talk with the seller. We gotta visit the general store. 
So I guess we were we did, we were right in coming back here. We were gonna have to either way. So, oop! I'm gonna. <laughs> I am not good at driving this. Are we already out of our jerry can? No, it's okay. Maybe that maybe they changed that. Because you guys can see in the bottom right there, our fuel gauge is starting to drop a little bit. So I guess they changed that then. Um, I don't know exactly which way if I have to go up this way or. I guess we're just going to explore a little bit. You guys know my, some of my other series that I do. <laughs> my directions are not on point with uh, some of the stuff, but they learn the map slowly and get there. Just takes a little bit of time. Jump. <laughs> go off, do some off-roading. <laughs> All right, yep, we did. We actually went the right way, so I'm, I'm proud of myself for that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the graphics definitely with these settings turned down are could be better. There's a lot to be desired here, unfortunately, which it's not the game, it's my computer, sadly. But, um, like I said, really hoping to be getting a new computer here set up fairly soon. I'm hoping in the next couple months, but uh, we'll see how things go here. I know a little bit expensive, especially with the cost of computers right now, and graphics cards are still absolutely insane. But, um, all right, welcome to welcome to make a purchase. Use the terminal in the next room. Purchase item, Purchased items will be outside for more information on livestock. View the glossary to sell items, place them in the area next to me, and confirm the sale using the terminal. Okay. Well, that is simple enough. So we've got, uh, oh, I saw we have to buy an egg basket and two chickens. Okay. So I don't know why this wouldn't be just, like, in the market. Obviously, like, the livestock, I understand, but, like, this kind of thing, like, pay in the egg basket, which I guess maybe it was, because here's the stunner, and I think I saw this milking machine, like, the meat grinder in there. So maybe, uh, maybe it was. So I'm going to purchase, we're going to add a little tannish brown one there and also a white one here. Get a little variance here in our life. So that's $110. We're down to $320, basically. Um, did we need two chickens or was it just one? It might have just been one, honestly. <laughs> I can't remember now if it was, if it was one or two, but I'm going to grab this guy, pick him up. <laughs> Just grab him by the neck. Uh, yeah, I don't think we needed two there. I think we only need one, but that's all right. We're going to... Uh, I'd rather have two of them. I don't know if it... Actually, you know what? They're probably both roosters. I don't even know that... I know the difference between a hen and a rooster. Obviously, a hen's a female. A uh, rooster is a male, but they look... Like, these guys look a little bigger. I think they are um, roosters. All right. We need to go back to our ranch now. And, um, can I just, like, I probably need to go, yeah, I don't think I should try going down there. <laughs> probably not. Probably not the best idea, and I think it's going to be down this way instead of going further up the hill. Drift this. Um, yeah, space bar frame. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> okay. This, this game is definitely not the easiest to control. I consider myself, I'm not... Not an amazing driver, but I'm, I feel like a pretty decent driver when it comes to real life and um, racing games. But this game is not um, not all that easy to control. Oh, we got another deer there. We got a couple of them. Looks like a little doe. And can I hit him? Oh, nope. I missed him either way. <laughs> but um, okay, I think that yep, this is our ranch over here. We got the nice. Um, overhang here and like the end little entrance thing all right quest completed back to back to ranch put the chickens somewhere on the ranch um okay do we just like set them anywhere i guess or do we need to actually put them like over here are they aren't they just gonna like run away i mean oops no place you there <laughs> I'm not gonna just drop you i'm gonna place you or food i see Oops, I did not mean to pick that up. Okay, now I can't place, place this back down. There we go. Nope, there we go. Pick you up. There we go. Pick your face up. We're going to place you down there. All right, so grains found. Where are the grains? Where's the good good? Um. Yep, it's going to be inside here. Okay, I think, right? Yep, that looks like... That's going to be it right there. Look at this big strapping boy. Just carrying this bag over. 
All right, I'm guessing the chickens are probably going to end up staying. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, I think that might be a good point uh, for a wrapping up point, guys. We're getting about uh, mid-20 minutes here. So um, I think we're going to come back next episode and we're going to continue with... Um, I think this is still the tutorial, honestly, but I don't know for sure. I'm guessing so, just being that we're having like a little quest thing to follow. So I think we're going to come back and we'll finish up the tutorial, hopefully in the next episode. I don't know how long it's going to be uh, as far as this tutorial, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and let me know what you guys think in the comments as well. And um, like I said earlier in the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are not subscribed watching these and you guys are enjoying them so you don't miss out on any videos. I'm trying to hit 300 subs before the end of the year and we're on the... Um, we're on the hype train, the goal to hit 1,000 sometime next year. So, um, but yeah, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you all next time. Peace out.